This is Croatia, more specifically Istria. This is the landscape I will be using in my puppet film. It will serve as the backdrop and the inspiration for, for the scenes. I need a cave. Maxi is going to discover a treasure in a cave, so I need to build this cave. I'm looking through these videos and photos of the Croatian landscape before I design the cave. This is so that the cave will correspond with the look of the background video, such as the colors and the style of the rock, etc. The first thing I have to do is decide the size of this cave. Several factors are involved. My puppet studio size is limited, and so I need something that I can walk around easily. And second, I don't feel like spending months and months building this cave, so I'm going to make something kind of simple. What I have to consider now is how the treasure box is going to open when Maxie finds it. Um, she can't pick it up because she's a puppet and her hands aren't quite strong enough. This box is fairly heavy. For now, I will temporarily try a piece of thread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that, that looks fake. Okay, so... That's going... The limitation of this smaller model that I'm going to make is that I can't really get good far away shots. The way that many things are shot, like in Star Wars, that use models is that the puppets or the pieces of scenery are made in miniature form so that against the model they look big. So for me to do this, I would have to build a mini maxi puppet. And I don't really want to make these miniature puppets, and I can't make the miniature puppets so that they operate so well as the, the regular size puppets. So I just have to be satisfied with close shots and write that into the script. There's close shots, no faraway shots in the cave. The only problem is if I actually have enough packaging to do the whole page. Um, this packaging comes with this sort of accordion-like effect, which makes it really good for packaging, um, but not so good for the interior of a puppet cage. So I will try to pull out the accordion structure and make something that looks more like rock for the interior of a puppet cave. I don't tend to work with many drawings or a, a big plan in advance. I know that in some ways this means I will redo things, perhaps more than I would if I planned better in advance. However, my style of creating tends to involve not figuring out everything in advance and rather trying to be as open as possible to what I figure out during the process. For example, I'm not sure how this is going to look once the puppet is actually walking through the cave. But no matter how much I plan, I'm not going to know anything exactly until I have the cave built. So, like in, in big budget films, models are often built and the shots are figured out in advance using small cameras and other technology. But I can't do this. In addition, every scene is a new experience. So I just have to go for it and see what happens. So what I'm doing now is doing this sort of painting on this sort of blue paper mache uh, mix that has the, mix, the, the texture of the cottage cheese onto the back of this tissue paper. The mixed blue mixture I have is pretty, it has to be very thick because the tissue paper is going to want to rip apart and you don't get many opportunities. You brush it on and that's it. If you, yeah. Okay, and then I'm sort of smushing that into the understructure, pushing it in. I'm certainly going to get a couple of tears like this, but it's not a problem. The thing to do is to get on layer number one that's going to sort of hold everything together. In some cases, it might be easier just to brush directly onto the styrofoam. Color is another issue. My first attempt to match the colors in the Croatian landscape was a complete failure. The scenery looked like a nativity set made by kindergarten. 
So I had to repaint it, repaper mache a little bit. Now I just went for some shadows here and there, and I will alter the color in the film uh, when I edit the film. It's easier. This next bit is about trying a series of shots to do, establish where we're going to place the camera. Um, also to make sure that there's enough places to put my hands so that I'm able to manipulate the puppet from either underneath of the cave or from different holes in the cave. We also are figuring out how much light we need to add. The stage is really good because actually, as I explained earlier, since I don't plan everything in advance, this is really where I can see what the puppet's going to be able to do. Uh, well, what I'm going to be able to do, I guess, is the, the more realistic way to put it. Are you gonna have profanity in this show? Shit, I'm profane, yeah! Now what of it? Now screen, open the box! String busted, busted, wait a minute. Crap. <laughs> what is this crap? Okay. You know, my, my, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow, oh, what, oh, ow, 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 my, ow! It's a magic opening box, so I said, ow, it's moving, the box 